Hey, what is up, guys? I'm gonna be doing my June 2019 Blu-ray and DVD update. Um, I want to apologize for the the noises you're hearing. It's actually I have a few fans going on in my room. It's like extremely hot. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. I have a nice little stack here. So first up is uh, Dunstan checks in. Uh, I actually found this at Best Buy for $4.99, um, and I checked on Amazon. It goes for almost double the price. I think it was like $8.99 or something like that. But it's been in my Amazon wish list for a while, and so I figured might as well pick it up where it's cheaper, and I don't have to pay shipping. Sorry about the bells you're hearing right now. I actually got a new dog, so she's just trying to get comfortable right now. Um, next up, I picked this up for my dad for Father's Day, uh, but honestly, I picked it up for myself because I really wanted to watch it. I just haven't got, gotten to it yet, and it's the kid uh, here on Blu-ray. I believe this was like 15 bucks at Target um, before my discount, so uh, yeah, d uh, Dane DeHaan and Ethan Hawke. I think I remember seeing uh, Ethan Hawke post something about it on Instagram or something, and uh, that's the reason why I wanted to check it out, but uh, yeah, the kid. And then uh, I went to that local place here, Games Plus, and they had a little sub going on, uh, buy two, get one free. And uh, so I found a few things that were, they were all brand new, so all the codes worked and everything. Uh, some of the slip covers weren't all, you know, in great condition. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show you uh, everything I picked up. So here goes the Bad Times at the El Royale. Uh, as you can see, this was on clearance for $10. Uh, so this is one of the ones that I paid for. Uh, it was an okay movie. Uh, very different from what I, I expected because I'd only seen the trailers. So, uh, yeah, I didn't really know what to expect, but... Uh, uh, the way they kind of show the different stories between the different characters um, was kind of weird at first. Uh, and I think I've said before that I'm not really keen on uh, on when movies tend to do that, where they kind of backtrack. But anyway, it was it was pretty decent. This one I, I had fun with, uh, and that is Robin Hood. This is uh, the free one, actually. Um, it would have been great to get it on, on 4K, but they didn't have the 4K. And also, I think I like the slipcover better on the, the Blu-ray than I do on the 4K. Um... And as you can see, this one was seven dollars, uh, so this was technically the free one. So I'm not going to complain there. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was actually pretty fun. Uh, it, definitely what I expected, it, you know, like a fun sort of popcorn type flick. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of Taron Egger, Ed, Taron Egerton. So uh, the next one I picked up, uh, I do want to watch, but I just haven't gotten around to seeing yet. And that's the Girl in the Spider's Web. This one was uh, ten dollars, so I paid twenty bucks for those three movies, and they were all brand new. Uh, so I think that's a pretty decent price. Anyway, uh, moving on. Found this at half price. Uh, didn't really have much luck when I went to half price in Big Lots, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, but this is the only thing I found uh, at half price. It was on clearance, and I remember liking the movie. I have it on DVD somewhere. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is more of an upgrade, but I couldn't pass it up. You don't, you don't come across this one very often, and uh, for it to be on clearance, I decided might as well. And then this is the only thing that I picked up at uh, Big Lots. I actually did uh, in the beginning of the month, and then I think at the end of last month, I went a few, to a few, at least all the ones in my area, um, Big Lots, and I wasn't having any luck. I was kind of hoping to find that uh, Planet of the Apes set to kind of condense my collection because uh, I have that old big set that had the individual releases. Um, but yeah, I didn't have any luck finding anything really. Um, so I did find this which I don't know anything really about, and it's a double feature of Night Watch and Day Watch. It was only $3, and I did read the back, and it was something, it had something about vampires or something. Uh, vampires, witches, and shapeshifters. Um, and I just thought that sounded interesting. I didn't have a lot of time, so I didn't bother reading everything. Um, but for $3, I was like, might as well uh, check it out, you know. $3 really couldn't pass it up. Anyway, moving on. Picked this up from Amazon. Uh, that's Mighty Morphin the Power uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Um, definitely one of those ones that I grew up with. This is the Shout Factory version. It got as low as like thirteen dollars on Amazon. Uh, so I went ahead and picked that up. Um, for some reason, like Target and I think Best Buy were still selling that for twenty nine uh, twenty bucks, uh, nineteen ninety nine. Um, but the reason why it was so cheap because usually uh, Shout Factory movies do range from like twenty to thirty bucks. Uh, was I think they didn't really have a ton of special features they could have gotten for this one. Uh, there is a new special feature which I haven't checked out just yet. Uh, let me go ahead and read it off to you. It's uh, a look back at Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, including new interviews with the director Brian Spicer and stars Johnny Young Bosch and Paul Freeman and more. 
and then it says the original featurette um, and then a theatrical trailer so yeah uh, just wanted I wanted it in my in, into my collection because I was I was a big Power Rangers fan when I was a kid and uh, that's just a great movie to have on, on blu-ray uh, to pop in anytime you want uh, then I went ahead and found this one uh, I actually needed to buy something for the new dog believe it or not and uh, for some reason it was like a specialty item where even if with with the red card I had to spend twenty five dollars to get the free shipping and um, so I was like sixteen dollars short and I found this on there um, I actually had it on my wish list on the Target app uh, and it just ha so happened to be just like exactly what I needed to put put me over I think literally I was just a few cents over twenty five dollars um, but yeah Mac and me is another one that I grew up with that I had on uh, I think VHS or whatever and I just really liked watching as a kid uh, so yeah great to have it in my in my collection uh, it is a Shout Factory one it did come out I believe about a year ago um, and it does have a few special features three new special features um, and I do have this on on DVD so it is an upgrade and then I know Ben's gonna like this one uh, I did happen to find Mean Girls I, don't, I can't tell if it's blurry okay it was blurry um, yeah I did happen to uh, I actually didn't find it uh, no one in my area had it in store um, but I did order it off of uh, Target's website and after taxes I believe it came down to like eight bucks um, so yeah there goes that and the reason why I wanted it was the pink case uh, it's I just really like the the way the pink case looks I did see somebody on reddit change out the pink case with uh, uh, the blob that they had or maybe it was something else but uh i thought of doing that with my copy uh but the copy that i have is a thicker case because it's from australia and um i just don't think the artwork would fit and anyway it kind of looks perfect in this uh mean girls uh you know artwork so there goes that <clears throat> moving on i actually picked this one up for my sister her birthday was this month and uh she was actually born in 94 same year the this movie came out and uh, this is her, like her favorite movie. She has multiple copies of it, and this is her first 4K. Uh, so I went ahead and picked this one up for her. Actually, it took me a while to track a copy down because for some reason, everywhere I went didn't have a copy. Uh, and then the final place that I went to had one copy, and they had to get it from the back. Uh, so I believe this was like 19.99. But anyway, uh, Forrest Gump here on uh, 4K. Um, yeah, I haven't really gotten a chance to see if uh, what's the difference between this in the last blu-ray but uh it, it was one of those birthday gifts so and then uh i went back to that other place to see if they had any good deals actually my mom wanted to watch something that came out that week and uh i was like it's just too expensive i'm not gonna pay for it uh, full price so we went to that place to check it out and we actually did find it so this came out the week that i got it but i got it pretty much half off and that's us here on uh, 4k for 15 bucks they did have the, the blu-ray there um which i had in my hand at first and then because i didn't see any 4k copies and then i went to the 4k wall and they had one copy uh this was brand new so i have the digital code the digital code worked um as you can see it was 15 bucks so i got it for 15 and then the next movie was glass here on 4k and this is also brand new and it says 15 but the guy gave it gave it to me for uh 10 so I ended up paying $27 for both movies, which I think is an amazing deal. It's like two for one, uh, especially with a 4K, um, which I don't have a 4K player yet, but uh, it's nice to build a collection. Uh, and I did want to watch Glass, so there goes that. Uh, moving on to the last three things, they're all uh, Target exclusive. So first up is Dumbo here. Uh, this is the 4K Target exclusive. I'm not going to open it up. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's other videos out there. I don't think I did a video. Um, but uh, yeah, there goes Dumbo 4K. Really, not much to say about it. I did try watching it the other night, and about an hour in, it kind of I kind of like lost interest. Dumbo was one of those movies, even the animated one growing up, that um, I liked, but it was one of those ones that was really hard to watch. It was really hard to keep my interest. So I don't know if that just transferred over or if I wasn't in the mood. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to give it another shot. Um, moving on though, the same day I picked up Cinderella. The Target exclusive, this is a just a Blu-ray. There is no 4K of the Signature Edition. Um, yeah, I don't know why, what was going on with the 4K, but I do know that, uh, I believe the last movie that, that uh, the last Signature Edition that came out was uh, uh, The Lion King. I could be wrong, but um, 
they didn't do a for the initial Lion King signature edition. They didn't have a 4K, and it came out a few months later. Um, so I don't know if they're going to do the same thing to milk, you know, milk for money or um, like a milk milk the consu milk the consumers for money or what. But uh, you know, Disney's Disney. They're going to get our money because they're, they're these are classic movies that we all want in our collection. So anyway, moving on, the last thing I picked up of the month. I believe I did a video, so I'm not going to open it up or anything. Uh, but it's Captain Marvel here on 4K. This is the Target exclusive again. Um, really, I just really do love the artwork for these editions. Um, really sad that, that they moved away from the digi books, but uh, actually, I don't think Marvel ever did a digi book. Uh, I like the media books. I know Marvel uh, or Disney did the digi books for for the Disney movies, but anyway, uh, that's it for my update, guys. Please tell me what you thought down below, and I'll see you guys next time.